what's good youtube welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen one more time i want you to like this video share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and leave me a comment down below thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen one more time i hope that you're all doing well all right so today i will be showing you guys another one of my um fried chicken recipe in this bowl here i have um some chicken that i already seasoned um with natural seasoning and a little bit of powder um seasoning all right so this um was sitting maybe for an hour yeah maybe for about an hour um, this was actually sitting so it's well marinated and it's ready to be coated all right um i will link the seasonings that i use um on the chicken i'll put it in the description um below all right so i'll be showing you my cornmeal crusted fried chicken it's very 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 delicious unfortunately today i will not be able to partake i think i have said this in videos prior to this um that i don't eat chicken anymore and today um i'll be pairing this with some rice and peas some good old jamaican rice and peas all right so i'm just gonna sit this aside for a minute all right so here i have a bowl i am going to add some flour regular um flour i'm gonna add some cornmeal now even though it is cornmeal crusted you don't want um it to be too much or to be overpowering so the flour must be more than the cornmeal all right and depending on how much chicken that you'll be frying then you'll know how much cornmeal that um you actually need i'm going to add some pepper flakes not too much um i did put a bit let me open this i did put um so that much i'm sorry my hand was bucking i even made a mess that's okay we're not trying to be perfect in the kitchen all right so the chicken was already seasoned all right i'm going to add some black pepper where is my black pepper all right so can find the thing with my black pepper so i am going to open this give me a second please all right so i'm just gonna sprinkle some black pepper in this i need some garlic is this garlic nope i need some garlic powder so i'm going to use a little bit all right and i know um i have subscribers and viewers who don't like to use the powder seasoning um for persons who are interested in natural se seasoning sorry you can um watch my previous video and you'll see natural seasonings that I use. And I am going to add some all-purpose. All right, so this is Maggie all-purpose and this is not um, advertising for them, but that's what I'm using. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this here, combine everything together. All right, you need nothing more. As I said, the meat was um sitting for a long time so i'm just gonna pull the bowl and i'm just gonna drop and um when i am frying i fry all legs together all the thighs um all the wings all the breasts that's how i do my fried chicken so that's everything can be cooked um on time and properly because if you should pair a chicken breast to a 
chicken leg if you are not careful the chicken leg um, will be dried out because chicken breast doesn't have any bones so it takes a shorter time to cook all right sometimes i i pair the chicken thigh and the chicken um, leg because they both have um, bones and they are dark meat so they take a longer time to cook through all right so this is how we want to coat it all right so for persons who might be saying oh i'm gonna like calm me and i'm gonna have a try that of course you're going to try it and you're going to tell me how it tastes all right it's really delicious all right so um i am not a cornmeal person and um the first time i made this you know i was surprised at the taste because um it doesn't have it doesn't have too much too much um, cornmeal so for persons who don't love cornmeal, you don't have to worry to say, um, you know, it's going to, you know, too much cross the cornmeal. Mm -mm. It's really, really not um, heavy on the cornmeal. And that's the reason why I said that we should use less cornmeal and more flour. If you're a person and you don't mind using, you know, a lot more cornmeal because you love cornmeal, then you can go ahead and you can do that. All right, so these, these are already breaded. So I'm just gonna shake off the excess and I'm just gonna place it on a clean plate. And I'm just gonna sit it aside, sit them aside because I don't want to put them in the oil and ensure that your oil is hot not smoking hot i think i said this in my last video you don't want the outside of the chicken to burn and then the inside of the chicken is not cooked so you don't want it to be smoking hot but you want the oil to be at the correct temperature and remember whenever you have any form of breading on your chicken you should never crowd the pot because the temperature of the oil is going to drop immediately. All right, so today I'm using a very small pot um, because I love using that pot whenever I'm frying chicken. Um, so the most I'm gonna put in, in, in that, I'm gonna do four. And since I have, how many chicken legs? Um, I have five, all right. Um, so I'm just going to put all of them at once. And for persons who might be saying um, cross-contamination because I am putting using the same fork here and there, remember, um, it's not fried. No, when um, you're frying your chicken, always remember that you should use a different fork. All right, so right now it's okay because it's not fried. So this fork that I am using, I will not be using this in the frying um, pan all right and remember when you're frying your chicken you get a different bowl to put your fried chicken in all right so you can't say i'll come catch it you know in another pan here no all right so we're not trying to get anyone sick so please note that when you're frying your chicken so i'm just basically going to repeat this process i'm going to show you the end result um, of this um, crusted fried chicken it's really really delicious and you can always season your chicken whichever way that you want whatever seasoning that you need to put on it um, you're at privilege to do so all right and as i said if you want more cornmeal you can add more cornmeal less flour all right you'll get that extra extra crunch um how i normally season my pot i put Two scotch bonnet pepper sometimes i put garlic pimento berry um as i said i don't put thyme and scallion because they burn easily i don't crush the garlic i put it um in um after removing it from the peel and as soon as it starts to brown i remove it meaning that i already got the flavor that i want from it all right so i'm just going to repeat this process and i am going to show you guys the end 
result. All right? So I'll get back to you guys in a few. All right, guys. So I am back. Um, this is just the first batch. I'm not so sure if you can see. My camera is not doing justice. But this is my first batch. And if you see that it's um it just has a light cornmeal um coating on it. So um as I did mention for persons who would want um a lot more cornmeal, you know, to actually taste. And it's not gonna taste like raw cornmeal because it would have um you know fried, it would have cooked through. But if you want to use more cornmeal, you can go ahead and you can do so. So this is actually my first batch, I'm sorry, um, of the chicken. And um, as I said, you can season your chicken whichever way you want. And it's just simple and it is delicious. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to follow me on all socials. Follow me on instagram at zoe underscore zoe caps lock and follow my business page at fashionable Edwears at zoe's thank you so much for staying with me today and i'll see you next time in another video bye